Thanks, Abby. The Hawkeyes are looking to claw back into the battle for the Big Ten West. But first, they had to travel to the East to take on the Northwestern Wildcats. It's spooky season for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and that means the, de the defense is scarier than ever. Chauncey Golston starts the game off with an interception to spark some confidence for the Iowa offense. All eyes were on the fair and studio as Iowa is looking to improve their offensive production. However, the Hawks could only find a field goal to take on the early 3-0 lead. The defense came up huge once again, recovering a fumble on their way to their second Big Ten shutout of the season. And this time, Makai Sargent finds the end zone as the Hawkeyes went on to win 20 to nothing and improved to 6-2 on the season. And the team was fired up after the shutout. Oh, it's great, and it makes Coach Parker uh, happy. Like we, it makes us happy. But like seeing Coach Parker smile, like that's that's really nice for everybody. Oh, the interception! I was just rushing. I want the work back, and Brady hit the ball. I saw it. I'm like, oh, okay. It doesn't get any easier than this. And then <laughs> I, I caught the ball. I got tackled, but <laughs> yeah. We got Wisconsin coming up. Uh, I mean, we're both sitting on the same record. Um, really, this game's going to decide who's going to go to the Big Ten West, or I mean, the Big Ten. With Iowa's win against Northwestern, the Hawks have reached bowl eligibility, and even though it didn't feel like it after losing to Michigan and Penn State, Iowa is still in the running for the rest. We have Iowa football reporter Lucy Rodine standing by with more. Lucy, what is the Big Ten West looking like right now? So the Big Ten West really comes down to three teams. It's Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. And I know it doesn't feel like it after Iowa lost to Michigan and Penn State, but Iowa and Wisconsin have the same record right now. Wisconsin got upset on the road at Illinois and then got smacked this weekend against Ohio State. And Iowa just has those two losses, so they're both sitting at 6-2 and two on the year. But we keep forgetting about Minnesota. Minnesota is 8-0, and oh, undefeated on the season, and right now they control the destiny in the West. So what does this mean for Iowa? Well, as I said before, Minnesota, they're 8 0. They control what's going to happen. But the thing with Minnesota is, is they haven't played anybody, so we don't really know how good this Golden Gopher team is. In the beginning of the season, they almost lost to Georgia Southern, South Dakota State, and Fresno State. But the last four games, they're winning by an average of 30 points per game, so we don't really know what to expect from this Minnesota team. They still have Penn State and Wisconsin coming into Minnesota and a game with Iowa on the road. Now, if Minnesota is the team, we expect them to be they'll drop two to three of those games and if that's the case then Iowa controls their destiny and it starts with winning on the road in Wisconsin in two weeks. Thank you Lucy. The University of Iowa field hockey team played their last regular season home game of the year over the weekend. The eighth ranked Hawkeyes took on the 10th ranked Northwestern Wildcats at home for senior night. The energy was high and the Hawks were fired up. It was a slow start for the Hawks as they allowed a goal in the first half, falling behind 1-0. But the Hawks would come back strong and they scored two goals in the second half to claim the victory and boost their confidence before heading into the postseason. It's been a bit hectic, a bit worrying, but it's just meant so much to me and all the seniors. Like We've had an incredible four-year journey here and just getting to share today with all the girls, with our family, with just everyone. It's just been incredible and it's amazing to get the win over Northwestern. They're an incredible team and we're just really happy. Yeah, I mean, it was a gritty win. Northwestern is a top 10 fantastic team um, and we really were able to stick to the game plan today. It's just a matter of not if we were going to put a goal on the board. and. We were pressing a bit in the first half, and we really cleaned up our, our final third, kept more possession, um, and really moved the ball well. And that led to two fantastic goals. The Hawks play this weekend in Ann Arbor for the last game of the regular season. Then after that, we'll be sure to keep you updated on their postseason assignment. The football team and field hockey team have been spooking their opponents all season. But come back tomorrow for an update on maybe the scariest Iowa sports team yet, women's soccer. Abby, it's all you.